as an introduction to NX, we will start with simple objects. In this video, you will learn how to create these three simple models using the modeling environment of NX. So in this file, you can select new. Here in this window, you can decide between inches or millimeters for this exercise. I will set it as millimeters. We have different environments here, model, assembly, and so on. Here you can change the name of your file, put your section number, for example, 02, and then your initials. ZK is my initial. And now here you can set where uh, where you want to save your file so here um, click this uh, select this desktop not the first one this one press ok and now your file will be saved on your desktop press ok here in this window we have these different tabs and if you click on each of these tabs, you can see different groups under each of them. So we have this ribbon here. This is a quick access toolbar. You can undo, redo, and save your file. Here you have uh, this uh, resource bar. This navigate, part navigator will keep track of uh, whatever operation that you carry out um, throughout your drawing. And here you have this um, datum coordinate system. If you click on a sketch from the ribbon, this dialog box appear here um, and it is asking for the datum plane. So if you hover over this coordinate system, you can see that different um, different planes will highlight. So for the first exercise, I would select XY, XY plane, then press OK. Now we are directed to the drawing window. Here you can select between different sketching tools, profile, rectangle, circle, line, arc. Uh, it is by default selected as profile and here you can see different types of drawing the the line so profile means uh, here in annex means the a series of lines uh, instead of uh, a single line so here uh, if you hover over the drawing window you can see that in this uh, input box we have uh, coordinate, uh, the coordinates of the point, the coordinates of uh, my cursor. As uh, it uh, changes to 0, 0, you can select this as your uh, starting point. Now, if you again hover over the drawing window, you can see this preview of the line. This is not yet uh, drawn. Uh, here you can add your dimensions, 80, enter, and 0 as your angle. So this first line is drawn here. If you press escape, then click on this fit icon. You have pan icon here that you, you can move your drawing. So we can select profile and continue the sketch. I will click on the end point. And here I need 10 as the length and 90 as the angle. This one 15 as the length and 180 as angle. 30. Enter, enter. This one is again 
10, enter, 90, enter. This one is 80 in length and 180 in angle. This dashed line here shows that you know, this line um, is collinear here with this line. So click here or you can type the size. The length of the, the edge, here again 15, enter, enter, 30, enter, enter, click once here, and in the beginning point, and the sketch is complete. Now I'm going to add another rectangle in the middle. So select rectangle from the from the curve toolbar. Now, as a start of this rectangle, I would type 25, enter, and 15. So this is the start of my rectangle, and I, as I hover over drawing the drawing window, it will give me the option to select the size. Now for the width of this rectangle, I would select 30, enter, and 20 as a height. Now the size is fixed, but as you move the cursor, it moves the rectangle. Now click once more, and now the location of the rectangle is also fixed. The drawing is finished, press escape two times and now press finish from the upper left corner in the ribbon. Now we can extrude this geometry, so click on extrude and in this dialog box, this is by default 25 millimeter, leave it like that and then press apply and then cancel. So here The model is complete. Now you can rotate this model either around an axis or around itself. Now you can fit it, you can pan it, and you can zoom. So this is the first exercise. As the second exercise, I'm going to open a new modeling environment. So I would set, leave it as millimeters and model as model. And this one, again type your section number CK1 and this is um, by default desktop is selected as the as where it is going to be saved then press OK um, before continuing uh, here you need to save your file so I would um, save this and it will be saved on the desktop now in this new window, again select the sketch. This time I'm going to select YZ as my datum plane. Press OK. Now we are on YZ datum plane. Profile is selected by default. Similar to the first exercise, this time my length is 200. Enter, enter. 90, enter, enter, 40, enter, enter, again, 40, enter, enter, 120, you 
here again for the enter enter and as you move away from the endpoint you can see that this dash line appears which shows that your line is either horizontal or vertical so again here this is 40 and I would select the end point or the beginning point. Now press escape two times. Now here I'm going to fillet the corners. So from the curve, select fillet. And as you move your cursor, you can see that it is asking for the radius, put 15 as your radius and now select every two lines that you want to make a fillet between them. I made a fillet with 15 millimeter um, radius for the two um, lower corners and for the upper corners I would change the radius to 10 enter and now select the edges. Now all the corners are filleted. Press escape. Now I'm going to add two circles. So click on circle. This dialog box shows two types of you know, creating the circle. Select this one, circle by center and diameter. So, as you hover over this drawing, it spans to the center of the arc here. Once it spans, click here, and then for diameter type 15 millimeter, enter. Now, if you move away from this circle, you can see a preview of the circle attached to the cursor. Once the center snaps to the center of the arc here, click here. Now the sketch is uh, finished. Press escape two times and select finish from the upper left corner in the ribbon. Now click on extrude. And similar to the previous exercise, I'm going to extrude my object for 25 millimeter. Apply and close it. So again this object is drawn here. As a third exercise again go to file new. This time Type your section, your initials, and number two, press OK. Select sketch, and this time I'm going to select XZ as my datum plane. Press OK. Profile is selected by default. Start from here. Click on the origin and move away. Here you can type 20 and 12, enter, and angle is 0, enter. Press escape. You need to and here the span. You can adjust the location. I'm going to select circle, select arc, and from the end point, if I click here, and for radius, if I type 12, enter. Then as I move my cursor to the right side, the size of the arc increases until it reaches 12 as the radius. Once it reaches the largest 
size, I will click here and then I would select profile. Excuse me. The, again, from the endpoint here, you need to type 12 as the radius. And as you move away, it reaches its highest size. Click once here. And now if you mm, scroll, if you mm, move your cursor up and down, the direction of the art will also go up and down. Now once more you need to select, you need to click here. Again, profile from the end point. Type 12, enter, and 0 is angle. This, uh, this side is 30, enter, enter. Again, this side should be 12, so 12, enter, and angle is 180, enter. Again, I need to add another arc here. 12, enter. Again, as I move it to the left side, the arc will increase in size. Once it reaches its largest size, I would Click once more. Now click once more and the arc is drawn here. Continue with profile. This side is 12. Enter, enter. And close the sketch. So the sketch is finished now. Press finish from the upper left corner. And now if you extrude the object for 25 millimeters, you have this 3D object here. So here, um, this is the end of um, uh, the, this session.